So I assume if you're watching this video, you flash monitor your iPod, right? You've put in that like cheap green board in there, an SD card, may maybe a battery if you really want to. And uh, you're using your iPod, you know, you got like 8,000 songs on here. <laughs> you have a decent library, but now you want something more, right? You don't like this stock OS, right? You want something a little different. You don't want to have to use iTunes every time you want to put songs on here. Well, do I have the operating system for you? Rockbox. What is it exactly? Well, Rockbox, if I'm going to put it into simple terms, it is the Linux of the iPod world. It is open source. It's customizable with themes. You don't have to use iTunes and you can dual boot the OS. That's honestly one of the coolest features. If you want the original iPod OS, you can still have it. But if you want Rockbox, you just change it over doing a little button combination and you have Rockbox. Rockbox also gives the iPod many functions, like for my audiophile fans. Uh, with Rockbox, you can play Flax on your iPod, which depending on who you are, is either very appealing or you don't care. <laughs> that, that's kind of the extent of that. So Rockbox is actually compatible with a number of different MP3 players. We got Arcos, we got Creative, iRiver, Olympus, Philips, Samsung, Toshiba. I mean, even, even the Fio, even the Fio is here. But of course, of course, y'all only care about the pods. So the pods that are compatible with Rockbox are all of the iPod classics, excluding the first and second gen because they're weird on this uh list they have a separate thing for the first gen classics uh, these are the sixth and seventh gen i assume this is because the sixth gen was the first time apple called these ipods the classics but for our reference these are the sixth and seventh gen Rockbox is also compatible with the minis and the first and second gen nanos. Most other pods are either unstable or they just don't work. Like the nanos after the first and second gen shuffles and the touches. If you want to modify the touch software, you're going down the jailbreaking route, which is honestly a story for another day. Of course, for this video, we're going to be doing my uh, fourth gen monochrome. So uh, let's get started on that. So now ladies and gentlemen, we're going to install Rockbox onto our pod. So don't plug your pod in yet. Just leave it unplugged right now. You're gonna go just open a new tab, a new window, you're gonna search Rockbox. I'll leave a link in the description. You're just gonna click the first one. It says rockbox.org. You're gonna go to release. Download installer and then you're going to choose your operating system. So we have Windows, Linux, Mac. I have Windows, so we're going to install it. Save that to the desktop. Give me the zip file, so we're going to extract. Here's your Rockbox folder. This has your Rockbox exe. So now you're going to plug in your pod. I have a little dock on my PC. So slot it in. And now you're going to open Rockbox. So Rockbox will usually auto detect uh, your pod. So if it doesn't come up, then you'll have to uh, search for it manually by putting in the drive letter that should do it. So once you do that, you can go ahead and click OK. And now you're gonna to wanna to check all of these boxes. We have the bootloader, which is required. We have Rockbox with the firmware. We have fonts so that you can change the letters in the uh, interface. We have themes so that you can change how Rockbox looks. We'll get to this later. And we have games because you can actually no lie, you can run Doom on an iPod. Do you want to run Doom on an iPod? Probably not, it controls like shit. If you don't want it, you don't have to check game files, but I'm gonna check it, because why not? Then we're gonna hit install, 
and we're gonna wait for it to finish. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, that didn't take too long. You're gonna wait for this uh, package installation finished successfully. You're gonna click okay, and that should be it. We're gonna eject and unplug our pod, and I'll see you in the uh, live segment. So when you unplug the pod, it's gonna boot into the original iPod OS, and to get into Rockbox, you have to do a bit of a uh, button combination trick like in debug mode and like Sonic 3. What you have to do is that you have, you have to hold middle and menu until the screen turns blank and then immediately flick the hold switch to hold and then back before the Apple logo shows up. And then when the Apple logo shows up, it will boot into Rockbox. So let's see if I can do this. Menu middle. And then flick the hold switch and yep now now we're in rockbox land so rockbox it if i want to describe how to get uh music onto here because i know that's what y'all are gonna want to know is that you essentially plug it into your computer and you just drag music onto it you have a file option right here and if you ever plugged an iPod into a computer or Mac regularly, you'll recognize these three files. There's also playlist. Dank's music. This is all the music from that one Dank Pods episode when he said like, Oh my, all these, all these songs have like a really good sound stage, mate. Yeah, that, that, that's essentially what this is. So you got, what is this, Rasputin. I have Seven Nation Army in there. You have the Droid Invasion. Whatever that is. Hit it, it will load. And with this skin, it will actually show album artwork, which is honestly really cool. And that right there, that is actually the volume. It doesn't, you know, swipe across and show you the volume thing. That little like thing right there is the volume. All right, so you might've remembered we checked those, uh, theme and font boxes in the uh, installation. So this is how to get to them. You go to settings, you go to theme settings, and you have all these options. We have base skin, icons, but at the top we have theme files. These are all the themes just downloaded by default. So we have Cavi, which is the default one. We have HiPod. Actually, this is basically just like bold, essentially. Yeah. That's so what that looks like. Your volume's up here in dB decibels. You have Rockbox Default. This is like slightly smaller. Try Rockbox Failsafe, see what this is. Okay, it's just super small. All right. Let's just put it back. I kind of like the original. You also have fonts, so you can change the uh, fonts. Let's see, uh, Rockbox Mix. Let's use it. All right, so it makes it bigger. Actually, I like this. We'll we'll keep it like this. And then finally, remember we checked the uh, games file. Well, you go to plugins, and then games, and then here are all your games. 2048, you have Blackjack, you got Doom, by the way, yes, you can play Doom, on the monochrome screen, it is very bad, you can barely read anything, I'm not joking, I'm not gonna play it, cause just, ugh. you have Minesweeper, it's kinda, it's kinda there for the sake of being there, it's not very good, <laughs> admittedly. Also, one more thing. If you want to get back to the original iPod OS, you hold uh, menu in middle, let the screen go blank, and then you hit the lock switch. So let's try it now. Menu in middle, then lock it. All right. We have an Apple logo. 
So there we go. We're back to, you know, regular iPod OS. Also, yeah, I changed the name to Rockbox Pod, because why not? This is actually the uh, pod I got from eBay. This is a spare pod. So I really didn't know what it was going to do to my like daily pod. So just a little confusion I need to clear up. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much uh, Rockbox. So um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll uh, see, uh, see you guys.